ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லாவ் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி அபவுட் லோட் டெஸ்டிங் வை லோட் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் ஹவு டு டூ லோட் டெஸ்டிங் வித் நியூ லோட் இன் சிம்பிள் ஃபியூ ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் கேன் டு பி அ ஜஸ்ட் அ வெரி குவிக் வீடியோ அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் டு ரெஃப்ரெஷ் ஆர் மெமரி வித் தி லோட் டெஸ்டிங் ப்ளஸ் நியூ லோட் so first let's see why load test web application so load testing is necessary to test a website's vulnerability to crashing and the load and the second one is checking the response times under the predicted to load and determine the number of simultaneous users supported by the application and finally to define the hardware and bandwidth requirements so when coming to load testing with new load first part is we will use this user path to record the http traffic between the browser and the server so the new load includes a proxy server that records all the server requests and responses and when coming to defining the test parameters so we have to we can we or we have the option to define the parameters we can define the virtual users behavior in the populations and we can set the scenario parameters such as load policy in the run time where we can set whether it can be a constant or the load policy can be a ramp up it can be a peak or custom or the number of virtual users to be simulated during the test and we can even set the performance monitors using the monitors under the design window or the design tab and then when coming when coming to the running the test we can monitor the ongoing test with the real time graphs and stats under the run time overview and then finally when coming to the results we complete the test and we analyze the results where we obtain the summary of the test and then we examine its details using the graphs and the statistical tables and finally new load records and replace the browser requests to the server which means that new load can simulate the requests made by the components such as the plugins the java applets the activex flash flash animations etc and but it cannot simulate the local actions such as updating a graphical component using client side javascript so i think this video is very quick so we just saw why load test applications and what are the steps we use to do the load testing so starting with recording and then setting the users in the populations and then setting up the monitors for the cpu and memory usage and then moving to the run time where we set the scenarios and set up the load variation policy we set the duration and when everything is set we set up the load generators and then moving to the run time overview where we can monitor the test along with the graphs the run time errors the alerts the run time users and finally once the test is completed we go to the results where we can see the test summary the values the graphs the errors the alerts the logs so with that i come to an end so this is a very quick video as i mentioned you already to just refresh our memory on how to do the load test in new load so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye from asan shanmugam and little slaw